Okay, I'll kill you. Thank you. You have my gratitude. My name is a great man. Oh, that's him, huh? What you Daniel? Like the prophet thrown into the lion's den? <laughs> Tell me, are you among the lion's den? You want to stop Alexander? Oh my. So Babylon shall follow you, say. <laughs> You hurry too much. Alexander is toothless without the all. He has one. That's, that's not very promising at all. The sanctum is basically impenetrable, but I guess the final. It could be reached by another, but Alexander broke his, I mean, my own, a long time ago. Really? Then if he tells the truth, by all means. Seek out the pieces of the broken wall and mend away. I believe he uses a for torture now. The practically unique man, which is quite useful, I understand. There should be six of them. Look around the choir and the transfer. You should be able to find them there. Okay, I'm glad I went this way first. Oh, that hurt. I hate to bother your father, but... If you're really going out to Alexander, would you consider taking me with you? Um, like on my back? I mean, look at But if you find anything concerning a man named Johan Heimer, would you please bring it to me? I believe he was working on a way to help him. A recipe for some sort of potion, a tonic, to free me from this husk of my life. Okay. I was afraid I was going to have to carry this guy around. Uh, I like his intentions. Me? I'm Heinrich Cornelius Agrippi. I'm this one's quite important to you. Baron Alexander has sustained my soul in this dead house for years. Who knows how many? Hundreds of the soul. Interesting. Awesome. More importantly, we have oil down here. Me? I'm the next best thing. Alexander really found that none of us is Johan Meyer. You never heard of Johan Meyer? My god boy. He's probably the greatest man in history. And you don't know him? Or is it the world who has forgotten him? Are you done talking? Okay. I am with my people. My people. Yes. I do take pride in Santa. Is it so wrong? Three, two, one, and talk. I found the meat by your plants. Land which had not been planted. Do you know meat by essence? Well, I suppose it doesn't matter. It is an old thing, building temples out of caverns. The dark walls being the universe, and inside are its flowers. Humans watching the sky slowly tire. But the followers do have one thing to allow them a real sense of connection, creation. The orbs. Okay, if he talks again, I'm just gonna keep walking. Anyway, what I was saying is there are eight doors up there. I've gone through one, so that means there's three left. So that'd be two orbs per door. Yes, it'll say. That door is heavy. And I'll say, I know, I'm the one who lifted it. Now, if this was Silent Hill, that door would have been shut and some crazy shit would have happened right there. They do that bait and switch. It's like, oh, you want this item, huh? Gotcha! You're mine now, bitch! And then you gotta go through a whole bunch of crazy, crazy shit. When we eventually do Silent Hill 3, you will see some of the best. To date, that is probably one of the scariest games I've played. This goes right up there, though. This does a really good job with the atmosphere and everything.
So someone smoked a joint in there. What are you so scared of, Daniel? Actually, I better leave it cracked open so I know I went in there. Whoops. Okay, time to conserve a little bit more. As I instantly open it. Just a flashback room. I'd rather you flash back some more oil. Okay, one of these is gonna have to have something in it. You can't have all those rooms and hello meat. <laughs> anyway, you can't have all those rooms with uh, no scares. I'm gonna wait before I go in there. I do get it. Not many orbs are left. They sometimes consume themselves. God damn it. Then lose by an uninitiation. I jump and I reach up to park. Alright, just get away from that guy from Agrippa. We'll go in here. I like it when Alexander's a good host and lights the torches for me. Not the blue torches, though. Or green. Oh, that's the get the fuck out music. Probably locked myself in here, but it's a push door, so that'll be alright. out just for a little bit longer. I don't hear any groaning or anything, but... Okay. Wow, this is impressive. Just a little further. It's like Orpheus descending into the underworld. Are you hiding something? What do you mean? Never mind. Your intuition is remarkable. I'm not sure I'm following. It doesn't matter. It's just a myth after all. Oh, there he is. And I'm in a flashback, so I can't run. There we go. Why did it not shut that door? Oh. And if he does decide to come down, I can just turn around. Not too shabby of a spot. 
Yeah, I hear him still. Sup, motherfucker? <laughs> Why she shows up through the loading screen or something? He goes, yeah, what's up, bitch? You call me a motherfucker, are you? The music's still there, though. These cells are meant to hold prisoners who are under treatment. The people you send for will end up here. Remember that the confinement itself works as a preamble to the torture, and you should pace yourself. Don't take anyone before they are ready. Understood. Sounds from the torture chambers are shuttled in through those pipes in the ceiling. Manage your victims well, and let one prisoner's pain instill terror in his cellmate. I'm gonna go back in here. Just to see. 